What's going on guys? I'm Domi and welcome to Domi's Insight Episode 2. Uh, if you didn't see the first episode, um, I'll link it right now on the screen and in the description. I would highly recommend going watching that. Um, this series is about learning how to play competitive Halo um, in professional settings. So uh, I'm going to be kind of walking you guys through my gameplay. Uh, this is a pretty solid gameplay I got with my team here, Strafe. Um, and one little quick announcement before I start this up. Uh, I will be going away this weekend. I'm going uh, whitewater rafting in Tennessee. So I'll be gone until Tuesday, so I won't probably have any content until then. But um, I'm really actually like excited. Maybe I'll videotape some stuff with my like, camera and maybe make a little blog video. I don't know if you guys would like that. Uh, might be cool. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, let's get this started here. Uh, playing some Haven Extraction, and uh, I'm going to start off by making a quick little jump from the Shockwave onto Open Ramp uh, to get a perfect flank on these guys, as you'll see me doing right now. So as you can see, I catch Jay Audio perfectly off guard, he had no clue, and we back the other guy down, and so now we have pretty much control of the map. Right here, this guy made a push to Open, I get help from my teammate. And we put them three dead right there. I ended up getting that grenade kill. And I, we have complete control of the map. I have snipe. And doing a quick little ogre twitch right there. So right now I'm just going to be kind of watching out for table. But making sure he was okay. And then rotating to red side. Because we armed it red side. So whatever side on this A extraction that you arm on. Is the side that you want to set up your team around. Because it's easy to get snipe shots, BR shots, nades anything it's really easy to, to do that when your team has control of that particular side so really quick already we managed to get that A extraction I actually pushed bottom red street uh, just to make sure they couldn't get any angles that I couldn't see you'll see me rotate back to the broken ramp which is a common sniping spot uh, on this B extraction but I wanted to push out you know just because there is places like right here it'll actually happen but luckily Jake has managed to kill him that's what I was afraid of that's why I pushed bottom red street just to make sure no one was gonna get that little initial and then my plan was to rotate back here so it ended up it ends up working out and we get this B extraction so you'll notice that I'm not even like paying it any attention really right now I'm staring at this broken ramp and I'm just making sure I'm not getting flanked I don't need to look down there because I know that if it starts flashing like it's doing right now, I can just pop out just like that. Because that's what really matters is defending the objective. You don't necessarily have to slay um, like to your heart's content. So you'll see us right there just holding this down. And I'm just kind of watching over everything. Uh, John's going to die right there. I'm, you notice I'm not pushing out to help him. I'm just staying in my little sniper, my little sniper spot up here because I mean that's all I really need to do picking off Amorous Lee's face and putting another guy one shot and uh, they really can't even if, if they were uh, smarter as a team they would have tried to push me because they weren't doing anything uh, as long as I was there so Table's gonna get this quick arm yes he is and I'm gonna get it. miss a questionable two for one but it's and that would have been a sick triple. Still was a pretty nice uh, little blainer for the double. Um, still, I, th I think I should have got that two for one, but oh well. So, uh, if you guys have, haven't noticed, I actually haven't died uh, up, at, up at this point in the game so far. Uh, just because we're playing flawlessly, and I'm just hitting shots like that. Like, come on, that was disgusting. But, I mean, my team is doing an awesome job of keeping these guys from pushing me. Um, and just locking down these objectives, and I'm just picking shots on people. Just taking Amorously Yours' face, he had no no idea. Right here, they're actually, they finally figured out that maybe they should try to push me if they want to be successful whatsoever. So, but luckily I, I managed to get out alive right there, and you'll if you saw Jake just get a huge double kill, uh, he did. <laughs> so, um, right now you'll see me staying on Mohawk, because when you have A, Basically what you have to do is hold the street that you arm on, like I said earlier. Um, if you have, you know, there's there's a couple different spots, like last time I was sitting on Red Ramp, which is a great spot. Uh, this time, however, I just, you know, decide to stay Mohawk. And you always want your team, when you're holding this A point, to have Mohawk. Uh, because 
it's really easy to pick people off from just about anywhere you can arm on A. And if your team has the ramp of the side you're controlling, the street of the side you're controlling, and Mohawk, there's no way they're going to convert any A extraction that you have. So, we know we have that one, so I'm just going to go ahead and we're off to see another great advantage of having a Mohawk position. Uh, right there actually was the first time I died, unfortunately I got caught on that thing. But having a Mohawk position really helps you, especially because you're already in position to set up for B, like we just did. Um, so right now I'm just going to kind of start roaming. Um, and, and really they're not even uh, in a position to do anything about this. I'm going to be pushing over towards Mohawk, getting caught in the back, uh, but I'm going to get away from that and drop down behind these guys. They only have 10 seconds left to convert, and I, you'll see that I saw that guy sitting on closed ramp, but I'm not going to challenge him because if I lost, if I were to and I lost the battle, then he could have potentially converted it. So instead I wait for him to try to get it, me and John push in and slay them completely. 5 owing them and I only died once and I believe I had like 15 or so kills. So basically that was just a perfect uh, example, like textbook textbook Haven extraction game right there. Um, I'll do as many of these as possible. These are probably going to be my most frequent series now on my channel just for the simple fact that I'm a competitive player by heart and it's what I do like 90% of the time when I'm on Xbox is play you know, like throwdown or scrims. So, I mean, it's what I can get the most content for, and I think people really enjoy it. Um, so we are a pretty skilled team, and uh, I think a lot of people can learn from us, and I've been getting great feedback about this series. So really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Domi, and I'll see you guys next time.